Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For every non-zero real number a, a squared is greater than zero. Now, before we get into proving the theorem, we are going to use two facts. The first fact is that for every two real numbers, a and b, if a is greater than zero and b is greater than zero, then a times b is greater than zero. The second fact is that for every real number a, the negative of a is greater than zero if and only if a is less than zero. Okay, so now let's get into proving the theorem. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves an arbitrary non-zero real number a. Our whole goal now is to deduce that a squared is greater than zero. Now, since a is not equal to zero, we know that either a is greater than zero or a is less than zero. And so what we're going to do is we're going to prove in either case we have that a squared is greater than zero. Let's start with the case that a is greater than zero. Now, because a is greater than zero, we can apply fact number one, right? If we take capital A to be A and we take capital B to also be A, then a is greater than zero, and a is greater than zero, therefore a times a is greater than zero. However, since a squared is equal to a times a, this means a squared is greater than zero. And that completes case one. Now let's move on to case two, where a is less than zero. Now, applying fact number two, since a is less than zero, this means that the negative a is greater than zero. And now, applying fact number one, if we take capital A to be the negative A and capital B to be the negative of A, then capital A times capital B is equal to the negative A times the negative A, which is greater than zero. However, A squared is equal to the negative A times the negative of A. So, since the negative A times the negative A is greater than zero, and a squared is equal to the negative a times the negative a, we have that a squared is greater than zero. So, no matter which one of these happens to be the case, we have that a squared is greater than zero. So we have proven that a squared is greater than zero. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove, so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.